Okay, I messed up last time. I thought I was recording. I was taking snapshots. So Dylan's going to show you some hydraulic soil excavation on this leaning oak over the plant's house. Blast the leaves away first. Uh, we're shooting um, 90 pounds static. means when the water's off, it's 90 pounds PSI. PSI is pounds per square inch, my, my, my clarification. Uh, and then when it's flowing, it drops down to 60 or 70. Um, the pump just can't push much more than that. So Dylan's using a Premier firefighting nozzle, inch and a half. We're using an inch and a half fire hose. The nice thing about these nozzles, they have uh, slide valves, which are very expensive to manufacture. That nozzle is worth over 600, almost 700 bucks retail. But boy, it works like a gem. And the advantage of a, a slide valve over a um, ball valve is that the ball valve distorts the stream and the slide valve is perfect no matter what. So for instance, if you're trying to uh, obtain thermal protection in a fire, as a firefighter, uh, you can put it on half throttle and, and fan it out. If you did it with a ball valve, there would only be half of a, a cone of water. So it really is a performance issue, the difference between a higher quality machine and the common you know, Volkswagen Kia kind of deal. I don't know how much faster it is to use this versus manual root collar excavation, but I can say that um, the moist soil is important. It rained last night, it's uh, January, we've got plenty of water, and um, the saturated soil with, with the water excavates seven times faster. And so to try to make a point in convincing other contractors the value of free irrigation, if we have two contractors working different sides of the fence, one guy did his homework and irrigated, and the other guy didn't, for simplistic reasons. The guy with the dry is going to take seven hours to do what the guy with the moistened soil did in one hour. Another way to think of that is one contractor gets done in an hour and is on his way to the bank, and the other guy works all day and is exhausted. Pre-irrigate your water. That's for hydraulic saturation. You can actually turn the water off as you're walking in. Yeah, that one there. Okay, he's gonna do this group, this marm here. Looks like mostly leaves. All the organic material out. The nice thing about hydraulic, when you're done at the end of the job, it is so clear and clean and easy to see. If you did this by hand, there'd be all this dust and crud in the grooves and stuff. So this is a notably faster, higher quality way of excavating soil. I'm not being a very good hose uh, tender. So what we often find in these fill soil situations, uh, this is a dry land luckily, if it was irrigated, oh my god, it would be nasty. You'd end up with root rots real, real commonly. And those are those are lethal. They'll kill the they'll kill the tree. Native fungus, but when you add water and fill, the fill chokes the roots and the water allows the fungus to eat them. And then it gets going and the tree um, dies. So it looks like he's getting down to about the, what you'd call the original grade. And it's between the surface of the soil with a fill before we excavated and the excavated area now down to the root collar where you, you'll find the, the root fungi um, are doing the damage most commonly. They go everywhere, but that, that's the most common place. Gonna get it on the right side here.
this is the guy's uh, trimming uh, disposal area. And this guy didn't get burned up by the last fire here in Cloverdale, but it was close. And he's got some pretty hazardous situations. One thing that we found out was that the fire hydrant was turned off by another hidden valve that was painted black and covered with bricks. Fire truck pulls up. Mm -mm. No, no, no value, no good. Dylan, I'm gonna let it down and go down below you. I'll get some. I'll get some shots here if you don't hose me off, please. Still counting? Yeah. Yeah, well, he's flushed him out, obviously. Video is done, and, and Dylan can look at the number of. I'm seeing seven minutes and 27 seconds for a root collar that's almost three feet across on this group tree. Absolutely supersonic in rate compared to manual. It has great advantages. Interesting. Most people uh, want to go with supersonic air because they consider it sexier. Well, this method is a lot faster than air any day. And you don't have dust, but you do have a lot of water, and it's a waste. So if somebody's uh, in a suburban site, this doesn't work, because where's the water going to go? And you can't afford to have a vacuum truck uh, suck it up. It just, it's just too costly. He was hosing, hosing off the, the mud, and then... Uh, that one's done, and we could actually... Hey, Dylan, get underneath the LP tank from your side and back on the other, so I don't have to hear that thing scream before it explodes in the next fire.